But first, we're going to start with an eye-opening presentation by one of the world's leading scientists in medicinal chemistry. For more than 40 years, Dr. Herbert T. Nagasawa has conducted research in medicinal chemistry at the University of Minnesota Health Science Complex and the Department of Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Minneapolis. He has had more than 165 articles peer-reviewed and published, primarily funded by grants from the National Institutes of Health and the Veterans Administration. He has served as senior scientist at the Veterans Administration, an adjunct professor for the Center of Drug Design at the University of Minnesota, and a professor emeritus of medicinal chemistry and toxicology at the University of Minnesota. And for 32 years, he has been the senior editor of the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry. Dr. Nagasawa has long been regarded as one of the world's leading research scientists on cellular function, glutathione, and the chemistry and delivery of glutathione. He and his laboratory have been awarded nine, nine extraordinary patents. Dr. Nagasawa recently addressed our international convention where he listed the critical roles that the glutathione molecule performs in every cell in your body. Glutathione is produced by every cell, but our glutathione levels decline as we age and are also lowered by factors such as stress, lack of sleep, illness, injury, uh, chemical pollution, and even exercise. MaxGXL provides our cells with the nutrients they need to increase glutathione levels. This is the one segment that you're going to want to share, especially with doctors and medical professionals. Let's take a look. Categorically and without any equi equivocation whatsoever, I can tell you that glutathione is the most important endogenous antioxidant there is. For one thing, it is manufactured by your own body. Secondly, as you heard before, glutathione is the only antioxidant can recycle itself. There are no other antioxidants can do that. Now, one of the major functions of glutathione is to maintain what is known as cellular redox homeostasis. Cellular redox homeostasis. I can hardly pronounce it myself. The, the only, the, the, the simplification of that thing, glutathione helps maintain the oxidation level of cells and help hold it in check. A good example of this is that the hemoglobin in your blood, red blood cells has to be in a reduced state before it can carry oxygen. In other words, if it's an oxidized hemoglobin, like in methemoglobin, Oxygen cannot bind to methemoglobin, therefore methemoglobin is not any good for carrying oxygen to your cells. It is the glutathione that reduces hemoglobin to the plus two state, which is the reduced state. Then it can accept the oxygen and carry it all to your blood. Another major function of glutathione is that it will protect against oxidative stress of the immune system. And allowing the newly generated, newly, uh, allowing, certainly allowing newly formed uh, Im immune cells proliferate to attack germs and viruses and, and the like. And the, as you all heard, glutathione is a master of suppressing or sequestering free radicals. And free radicals generated normally in your normal metabolic processes. Not only sequesters those free radicals that are unwanted, it will take the free radicals generated as a result of your exposure to, to the environment. You constantly have exposed to this industrial environment and produce, and these are produce these chemicals and other agents producing free radicals in your body. And glutathione will sequester this. Glutathione is also important to protect the uh, 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 nuclear, uh, <laughs> the uh, nucleus of the cell and the DNA of the cell. And it's most important in the mitochondrial uh, DNA because mitochondrial DNA is not very well protected. If you hit the mitochondria, damage the mitochondri mitochondrial glutathione, you would result in cell death. And this is what glutathione protects against. Glutathione is also important in the, in the protein biosynthesis process. For one thing, what happens is that glutathione, the amino acids that are, as you know, the building blocks of protein, Glutathione takes it from the outside of the cell and transports that amino acid into the inside of the cell, so that's now where the bi protein biosynthesis can take place. 
And one of the most important things in this modern industrial world is that glutathione is the first line of protection against environmental chemicals and toxins. It will sequester free radicals, but not only other things, other things that uh, David has shown on the slide, household chemicals that have, could, could be toxically ingested or you have it on your skin. So David, I can tell you again, glutathione is the most important and largest antioxidant there is. Now, when you hear a presentation like that, uh, doesn't it make it obvious that we want to do everything we can to keep our glutathione levels at an optimum level in every cell in our body? That's the focus of Max GXL. It's been the focus of Dr. Nagasawa's 40 years of research, and it's, of course, was the focus of Dr. Keller's research as well. Now, think about some of the things he said. He said that Glutathione is the only antioxidant that recycles itself, so it can deal with free radical after free radical after free radical. It protects the immune system. I mean, think about it. Your immune system is charged with protecting you from germs and viruses and diseases, and it's glutathione that protects the immune cell. It's glutathione that protects the nucleus of the cell, the DNA of the cell, and the mitochondrial DNA of the cell. Uh, it's the first line of protection against environmental and chemical toxins. Dr. Nagasawa also told me that glutathione is a primary detoxifier of the cell, helping to, to get those toxins that are literally poisoned to our cells out of the cells. Uh, it's a primary detoxifier of heavy metals, uh, such as arsenic and mercury and those things that come into our body through the environment, what we drink, what we breathe, and so on. Glutathione plays a major role in that. Uh, it is the gatekeeper to the cell. It's what enables antioxidants that we take in to come into the cell, and then it actually synthesizes those antioxidants so the cell can use them. For example, when you drink orange juice, the amount of vitamin C that actually gets into your cells to be utilized is determined by the glutathione in those cells. So, there is no way to overestimate the role that glutathione plays in our health, in our well-being, and of course, in, in our fight against the aging process. Uh, and man, are we just fortunate to have teamed up with scientists like Dr. Herbert T. Nagasawa.